What's up everyone? All right, well, it's my first red day here, down $7,800, max loss. My max loss is set at 5,000, so I'm down more than five, can't keep trading. I'm, I'm annoyed. Uh, I lost about 2,900 uh, at the open, I then I uh, had to run out, it's 11.30 right now. I came back, started trading SQBG, was back down uh, to flat on the day, and then Tried to do a dip trade as it pulled back off 17 and then lost 7,800 on that dip trade. Went from green on it to red, down 4,900 on that. So I'm red on three out of three stocks, three strikes you're out. And it's good I have that set max loss set at 5,000 right now because it just forces me to stop right here and, and not take any more trades. It's, this is the moment where the temptation to keep trading to recoup losses is high and I could very easily uh, dig myself a whole 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars easily. When I'm in this kind of position of feeling annoyed and frustrated, having just three minutes ago been break even on the day from down 2,900 and then one dip trade and I'm now down 7,800. So now it's like there's not really any hope in trying to get back. I mean, it's just the wrong time of day. It's 11.30, it's too late in the morning. I'm red on three out of three stocks. It's just nothing's lining up for me to keep trading here. And yet I want to, because I want to try to get back to green. I want to try to preserve my green streak. But at the end of the day, being down 2,900 wouldn't have been a big deal and being down 7,800 isn't a big deal. These are still small numbers if I keep trading. And then I take another big loss. Next thing you know, I could be down 15, 18, 20, 30 thousand dollars. It can happen real fast. And then I've really kind of ruined, uh, certainly ruined my day. So right now, you know, I, I was up four, three, four thousand yesterday. I'm down 7,800 today. So I'm right on the week, but not nothing catastrophic, nothing I can't pretty quickly recover from. So I'm glad about that. Uh, the first stock I traded today was PTIX. I did get myself up about 2,600 on it. Uh, gave it all back, I'm down 1,500 on that right now. IHT, I traded that one, lost 1,300 on that. Those two put me down 2,600 or 2,900. Then SQBG, I started to recoup losses, then went into the red. So it is what it is, fighting an uphill battle today. Should have just not even traded. I kind of knew that it wasn't worth it, but I, I knew it wasn't worth it because the leading gaffer was only 19%. And I was like, what's the point? But I traded anyways. Now I've dug myself a hole. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Trading is risky. Trading is hard. Most beginner traders lose money. Even me as a seasoned trader, I sometimes make these stupid mistakes. And then I gotta, you know, eat the losses and spend tomorrow just trying to recoup losses. So that's, that's the way it goes. So I'll show you, um, let's see, my PL here. So there, um, right there is my PL for the day. So you can see that it's down 7,800. And then the PL says equal closing orders only. So that means I can't take any trades because I'm down more than 5,000. The fact that I was looking at Tesla shows the desperation. I was willing to trade anything that was moving, which Tesla was moving, but red on three out of three stocks IHT, P. TX and SQBG. So bad day for me, but I'll recover and I'll be back first thing tomorrow morning. All right, see you guys tomorrow. And that right there was an entire video with no ads. I don't monetize my YouTube channel with video ads, which means you guys get to enjoy the content. But do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and let YouTube know that this channel is the channel to watch if you want to learn about day trading.